So let's go back right back into it, Bert. So what is sure. SEO? What is this SEO that everyone's always don't talking about? Don't lie to us. Okay. Yeah, lie. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read you the definition right from Wikipedia if you all it, think it. Wikipedia is a credible source. I edited it earlier. SEO is the process of affecting the visibility of a website or a web page in a search engine's unpaid results, often referred to as a natural or organic or earned results, not to be confused with pay-per-click. So everybody probably knows that what Google AdWords or pay-per-click yeah, is. For sure. Top of the page on the right. Okay. Or, or on the top. On the top, yeah, or, the the top right. or on the right. You got it. That's paid. And it's pink or yellow usually, right? Yeah, yeah you yeah. got a little yellow ad sign there. Mm-hmm. Organic search results are the meat, the middle of the page. That's sure. where you see the Google Pluses and the websites coming up. You got to earn that, mm-hmm. and that's, that's with content. That's with content and video. Uh, that's with a whole bunch of factors. And I know we're on the radio here, but I have the periodic table of SEO success factors. It's a ton, and you have to do a lot of stuff regarding the website sure. and a lot of stuff off of the website to make Google favor you as an authority for the niche that you're in to make you rank above your competitors or yeah. below. Okay. Tell us a little bit more about how this works. Well, with uh, first of all, you have to start with your website. That's generally the nucleus of a business. Okay, So the website has to be uh, mechanically working correctly. You have to index it with Google. There's all kinds of technical things, meta tagging wise. You have to have a certain co- amount of content to picture ratio and all this crazy stuff. Once you get that done... Then you have to work on the content that also goes on the website and off of the website. So this is where social media comes in. Sure. Social media, you know, your website is like the sun. Social media is like the planets revolving around the sun. It, it gains interest and sends people along with videos to your website, driving traffic like we talked about before, right. uh, creating engagement. And look, when people come to a website, you want it to convert, right? You just don't want them to look at it and go, oh, this is neat. You want them to either call you, set an appointment, uh, opt in for a newsletter, or get on your list. You you want to build – the money's in the list still. Right. And that's – I know that's old school talk, but it's still in the list. Yeah. So this is ongoing stuff that you need to do, and this is why a lot of people hire marketing companies. So So why other reasons do you think it's so important to work with a marketing firm? And when should you start working with one? That's probably a better question. Yeah, good question. Uh, It's a full-time job. Right. Okay, so most people are running their business like we talked about. They don't have time. Mm -hmm. To keep up with this this uh, environment that's changing every month, sure. Google changes their algorithm all the time, which is the secret code that says you're going to rank here and your competitor is going to rank there. So most people pay a company to t- to stay on top of that, and more importantly, create a plan and make their clients accountable for the plan. I mean, we have to sometimes pester our clients to get them to stay on track, but they appreciate that. Mm-hmm.